Photoshop tutorial 2 part 4, the coin stamp tool. Make sure the background layer is selected in your layers dialog box. You can see there's a boat in the background here. We want to zoom in so that we can see the boat more clearly. So I'm going to click on the zoom tool and click and click and click until I can see the boat. I now need to use the clone stamp tool. The clone stamp tool will copy some pixels from anywhere in the image and that means we can use them as a brush to cover up or hide um, things in the photo that we don't want. So if I click on the clone stamp tool, make sure it's active and select it. And you can see I've got a brush size here. If yours is not big enough, my brush is bigger than the boat. Click on the brush size and you can use the slider or you can type in a number. So I'm going to type in 50 and there's my brush. Move your cursor to the right of the boat, making sure that the brush has some sky and some water. Hold down the Alt key and click once. You can see as I move my cursor around now, it's taking some of that area with it and it means that I can start to cover up my boat. I'm going to click once and then click a few more times to give a better coverage and my boat has now disappeared. Using the zoom tool, holding the alt key down, zoom out again and you can see the boat has been removed from the background.